Other interesting political news, you have the RNC suing Democrats for breaking their own law when they appointed seven times more Democrat poll watchers versus Republican poll watchers. Now, fascinatingly enough, this came from Fox News, which is somehow still in business. I, I thought they only had about 18 people checking out their website or their TV show daily, maybe 19 during a hot, hot, you know, big news story, but they are somehow still viable as a business. So I'm actually kind of impressed. Granted, they've sold off most of their assets and got rid of the investor supporters, but still in business. An achievement, yeah, still impressive. Now, specifically, this comes from Jesse Waters. He says, quote, the RNC is suing Detroit after learning the city allegedly hired seven times more Democrats than Republicans as poll watchers for this election. This comes as a state across the as states across the country keep finding thousands of foreign nationals on state voter polls. And I was going to say his voice is a little bit better than mine. Without too much further ado. I should, we should have the cliche bell from Fox News. Fox oh, yeah, News alert. Go. The Republican National Committee suing Detroit after learning the city hired seven times more Democrats than Republicans as poll workers for the election. The RNC claims Detroit's election commission appointed about 300 Republican poll watchers compared to well over 2,000 Democrat poll watchers, breaking a state law that says there should be equal representation from both parties. RNC co-chair Lara Trump said... Would it be actually it'd be nice if there's some libertarians in there as well, but that's just me. ...says that the committee will do everything in its power to ensure blue states play by the rules. If you're a person who is uh, attempting to cheat in our elections or an illegal citizen attempting to illegally vote in our elections, we will find you, we'll track you down, and we'll prosecute you to the full extent of the law. We're watching everything, we're filing lawsuits when necessary, and we're making sure we have people everywhere, votes are being cast and counted, to have eyes on everything. Much different story in Texas, where Governor Greg Abbott just announced he's removed over one million ineligible voters from the state's voter rolls ahead of November. Whoa. Nearly half a million of them were dead, and several thousand were non-citizens. How are thousands of foreign nationals able to register to vote in the United States? They keep saying it's illegal and it doesn't happen, but now Virginia and Texas have just found thousands of them. Primetime hopes that more governors will follow the lead set by Glenn Youngkin and Greg Abbott. Fascinating how every time we're told it's not happening, it in fact is indeed happening. But Pierre Ballard got 1.6 million views as well as 70,000 likes. So the first comments coming from Ken Mag Mangintion. Apologize if I'm butchering that, Ken. says, yep, these three pieces of crap are, uh, have been doing it all over since 2020. And it's a picture of three gals. It says, Michigan's excesses of evil. It says Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Michigan Governor SOS Secretary uh, Jacqueline Benson, and Michigan Democrat AG Dana Vessel. It got 373 likes. Yeah, proud, proud Patriot U.S. saying they will do anything they can to cheat and steal this election. This is unacceptable. Getting 372 likes. We have a contrarian statement, although she doesn't really elaborate. Our candy, spelled C-A-N-D-E, which just has a picture of an emoji popcorn and water in a cup with a straw, which, unless you're physically disabled, I can't really think you're not 100% chance you're a serial killer for drinking water with a straw, but much higher than zero, I would think. And it's also not candy. I don't know why that's a weird name. Also, it's weird as topping, but I partially digress. She says, Jesse Waters, what is wrong with you, bro? Getting 368 likes, which, yeah, I thought bro was like the 90s, the Bud Light era. But she also got one of the highest engagements. She has 64 responses. Well, the first one is coming from Shakir Yerbrowdy, saying, quote, well, listen, you, uh, uh, let's see here. Listen, you mentally disabled person. I'm trying to keep it moderately family friendly. Um, Republican poll watchers were kicked out of the of the count. Kicked out of the count, and Dems covered the windows of the cardboard. Then thousands and thousands of ballots for Biden rolled into the basement after counting was paused. You're not getting with that crap again. Getting 88 likes, so not quite enough to ratio hurt. Elis Congressional Watch says he's telling the truth. Wake up, Democrats! Cheat, getting 16 likes. PG guy says he cares about the election integrity. Why don't you gain 84 likes? So she's ratioed by a number of comments against her. No, no. Frank Dubois says he's spewing lies as usual. Bismarck Guroch says Fox News is not news, period. Zero likes. Rick says Jesse is reporting news. That's what they do, getting seven likes. 
So a couple kind of contrarian, or a couple of people did agree with her, but overall, not so much. Let's see. Any other statements here? Let's see. Harrietta the Great says, why isn't Arizona getting rid of illegals off their vote polls? Getting 39 likes. Good question. Let's see here. Megan Nancy says, what difference it made to fire Ronna um, Romney? For her, yep, gained 37 likes. Yeah. Was, as tr if you were to ask Trump his opinion of Ronna, he'd probably say, Ronna's a loser. She lost the midterms. Lost 2016. Terrible, terrible person. Yeah, because she's just lost again and again and again, and somehow still got paid to do effectively nothing. Actually, no, she lost, so that's actually worse than nothing. She's inept or bad or corrupt. Or mixture of all of them. Charity Parker says, this is awesome. I can't believe the RNC has been doing this for decades. In California, I bet it's rampant. I applied to be a poll watcher as a Republican, and I have not been contacted. Gained 58 likes. Michael Jusu says, make it as hard as possible for any cheating to happen. Funny how only does um, only us on the right are being called, are calling for fair elections. Gained 93 likes. Joy Reaper says, hmm, Michigan, the state that boarded up windows. Gained 29 likes. Here, someone put a lot of effort into a GIF of fireworks saying a hole alert. So it says whole explicit explicative. This is from Mark uh, Kremer. Says Jesse Waters proves day after day is such a disappointment to his mother. That's 47 likes. So, yeah, it's uh, I think a lot of people are pretty suspicious why there's so many people that aren't allowed to vote being in there. Then the poll watchers again, that should be representative of the United States, and the United States is about 50 50 split. I mean, if it's after me, you'd throw a couple of libertarian folks in there as well. But again, they're break. I mean, they're suing them. They're you know, Michigan's. They're breaking their own rules allegedly. But I mean, Pennsylvania did that during the twenty six uh, during the twenty twenty election. So, eh, do you think anything will actually happen, or they'll just get away with it, or do you think it'll be proved one way or the other? Let me know in the comments. As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment to give me a little bit more feedback. Let me know I can make this show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.